Mustafa is back home in the Gambian capital, Banjul, back with nothing but bad memories of the journey to Europe, which he undertook a few months ago. He says that the human traffickers were not kind to him and his fellow immigrants. After reaching to Libya at the first checkpoint, yeah, they strip us there, take all, take all uh, our monies, our belongings, our bags, everything. So they put us back to the pickup and say, that's our pay before we enter Libya. While in Libyan detention, Mustafa says he saw the worst. Every day you hear gun sounds. You see people being shot, people being beaten, yeah, people getting tortured. Every day you see it. I never heard a gun sound until I reached Libya, here in Gambia. I never heard gun sound until Libya. And Libya every day, every day, morning, night, any time, yeah, these heavy weapons, you will hear it like RPG, boom, until the house will be shaking. He managed to make a list of his fellow immigrants he used as a reference point as he thanks fate for his safe return. Together with his fellow returnee, Lamin, the two youngsters used their bad experiences to educate their fellow youths against embarking on such journeys. Libya is like prison. That's why we are sensitizing all the young people so that they can stay and we can work on our future from here. We are going to help each other with this association so that we can try to take control of our future. I'll never redo it. I'll never take this journey. I'll never try back again. Even anybody I know, I'll try and discourage anybody I know. Even my enemy, who I'll not uh, advise them to go. Because it doesn't worry. At least 20,000 immigrants are being detained in Libya. While there are those who manage to cross into Europe through the Mediterranean, a lot more don't manage it. These two youngsters would rather none of their peers embark on such a risky venture. Mahia Mutua, CGTN.